Well, I got my Garmin charging up. Um, I'm getting ready to go out geocaching. Um, I don't use it for getting around very often because I don't really need it. But what I do is I, uh, I write instructions down on a piece of paper and I use magnets to just hold it to the gas tank of the motorcycle. But I did notice something today. Um, this coin, this coin is a from Czech, uh, from Czechia, I guess. It was uh, somebody, somebody had put it in a cache as a as a, a swag, and I, I took it. But I noticed something uh, about it that you don't notice about other coins. This magnet doesn't affect that, but the check coin um, is attracted to a magnet. I've never seen that before in any coin. Interesting. So this is what I was talking about with the um, magnets. I just put them on the gas tank there. All I need to do is get through a little tricky area, and I'm not gonna. I'm not going to fire up or waste the battery on the Garmin for that. I just make a few notes so I don't get turned around. It's really easy to get turned around in Korea. <laughs> just the roads everywhere. And some of them are on the map, some of them are not. So I'm just very carefully going to go out to a cache area and do some geocaching today. With micros, I guess, as with any cache, you can be creative to try to make it more interesting. And this one was uh, a little interesting. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, we have the uh, recessed bolts all around here. Except if you're geocaching, you look for what doesn't fit. <laughs> and that doesn't fit. And it's just a little magnetic. There we go. Just that. This is uh, an apartment complex. Right here, and <laughs> there's a cache. Nice, bright, white bottle. And a uh, lamp skirt. They expect you to be stealthy, but you can only be so stealthy when you got dozens of apartments looking right at you. You never know who's looking out their window. Who might call the cops. There is a cop car over across the way there. And there are uh, cameras, CCTV cameras, all up and down this path. So, I try to be stealthy, but what can I do? It's just a little searching, and you find that <clears throat> it's a little magnetic. It's just a little uh, <clears throat> piece of uh, tape with a magnet in it, you can see, and it just was right there. But look at that. wonder what this, this is, a geocache. Huh. I didn't see that, I just saw it. Well, let's take a look at this. All right, here's that little uh, geocache container that I found on the ground next to the cache. Little piece of metal. Is it magnetic? Yes, it is. It's magnetic. There's a log sheet inside. Hmm. Now this is a puzzle. What I'm going to do with this one right now, I'm going to log this one on the iPhone so it'll go up immediately with a couple of pictures right away. Um, I put both caches in the same place underneath that little orange thing, so um, I don't know. Should I sign both of them? Not sure. I'm going to count it as found because, well, I found two at the same spot. <laughs> that should count as a find. Uh, that's weird. I've never seen that before, I don't think. I have to check my old videos. I I have found uh, archived caches that I wasn't supposed to find. <laughs> well, no, I think I just found I found one archived cache just by chance. 
Anyway, let's see how this goes. Well, I changed my mind. I went ahead and signed both of them. I'm thinking maybe that the little brown one is the cash. Somebody couldn't find it. And they made a new cash envelope because when I open the when you open the green one it's just like a yellow legal paper that's been cut the size of a, of a log sheet it's not it's not one of the usual log sheets so that's what I'm thinking happened I don't know I've already I've already uploaded my, the find so uh, and the picture <laughs> maybe the owner will uh, clarify He'll edit the uh, description to clarify which one is the true, the true and proper cash. Ah, uh, you missed it. I couldn't get the camera out fast enough. There was a guy rappelling down the side of that building. Huh. I could never do that kind of work. I am scared. You know what I mean. I hate heights. I'm scared to death of heights. Wow, uh, that's awesome that people can do that. So yeah, you, you have to wait for there to be no muggles around to collect the cash and you take it out of its little wrapper and you sign it, you put it back in its little baggy thing, put it back in the in the container and then you have to wait again for no muggles to be around to replace the cash. This was a rather time-consuming little uh, cash to, to find. Right, I'm just going to take a quick look for food. This is a place called Sopun, Sopun Picnic, and they have sundu. So, we'll see how it is. There's a, a lady, because this is a new area, there's a lady passing out real estate pamphlets out on the corner, and she saw me looking, and she said, what are you looking for? And I said, I'm looking for a restaurant that doesn't have meat, doesn't has a meatless dishes and uh, so she directed me here pretty cool very nice friendly maybe I should buy an apartment from her all right here's the sundubu and we have some kimchi and some other vegetable dishes on the side cool looks good those look like potatoes Mm, I don't know. It's a hot pepper. I'll eat that, but I don't know about... Oh, the other stuff looks good, too. Yep. This is a really good lunch. Especially on a day that's not so hot. That was a, a healthy, refreshing lunch. I feel invigorated. I'm going to go keep geocaching. Uh, there's another one about 200 meters from here. Let's go find it. I had to wait quite a while for everybody to uh, get their, get on their buses and go. There's a cash here. There it is. Just a little thing, of course, which uh, almost all the caches in Korea are micros. Um, the coordinates for this one are way off. I mean, like. 40 meters off. That's, that's, and, and he said something in the description about the coordinates, but his English wasn't clear if he could speak English at all, really. Uh, he probably can't speak English. He might have just used a computer. But, um, yeah. I had to uh, guess where to look, basically. Uh, I did look at the uh, hint, it said photo. My Garmin, uh, I don't have photos on the Garmin, and it is raining. Crap. 
So I had to dig out the iPhone, download the photo for this cache, and uh, it's a picture of this bus stop, which is kind of where I thought it would be. But, uh, yeah, I guess I was right. Okay, usually they're in the uh, <coughs> skirts of lampposts, but this one is in the skirt of a fence post. There it is, right in there. I found a few geocaches today. Um, the first two I looked for were DNFs, so I thought that was kind of uh, a depressing way to start today, but uh, anyway, I got stuff to do. I can't spend all day out geocaching. But I did find a few, so I'm going to go home uh, happy, have a cup of tea, and uh, get some work done. Okay, everybody, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, geocaching is an interesting hobby. I'm very glad uh, I was introduced to it. I'm very glad uh, that I was able to do it here in Korea as well. And as usual, if you are interested in learning about geocaching, or you have questions about it, maybe I can answer questions. But I will certainly be glad to direct you in the uh, uh, proper direction to have your questions answered if I can't do it. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya.